Okay, this guy is literally just watching them sleep. A little creepy, dude. Little, little creepy. Hello everyone and welcome back to our 1.19 series where we are exploring the wild update. My name is Little Red and in our last episode we made an iron farm and we hid it inside this giant mushroom. We even used the iron blocks to decorate and build with because this is our iron farm mushroom. And we built an auto cow farm which uh, we have named the Cow Crusher 5000 and we put this farm inside a brown mushroom top to match the cows. And uh, it works uh, pretty good. We're getting a lot of leather and food. We are cooking it up and getting some meat. So we are good on that front. In today's episode, we're gonna work on enchantments because uh, last episode was so hard to not have silk touch because I could not get these lovely mushroom blocks behind me. And uh, I, I really wanna build with them. So we are gonna work on rolling for silk touch and also getting fortune three and working on getting an enchanting table set up as well. Now, as I was working to spawn proof this in some off camera time, I was in a mine shaft collecting spider webs, and look what I found, guys. Mending. Cat, a name tag, and three golden apples, and a ton of lapis. I also sliced some glow squid. But guys, we found something even better. Let me show you. We found a spawner. And it also had some spare cat discs as well in it, so that's pretty cool. But now, guys, we're able to make a skelly farm and uh, get some bone meal, some XP, arrows, bows, the whole nine yards. So that is something that we get to do in a future episode, and I'm super excited about this. So we found that in some off-camera time, and uh, I, w I was pretty excited about it. So uh, now we have another project for a future episode. Now, as far as where we're going to build this enchanting hobbit hole, I've already made a path leading all the way over here next to our hobbit hole, where we are going to be building out our hobbit hold, and the design that I'm using is one by Goldberg, who is an awesome Minecraft builder, and we've already collected a lot of the supplies that we're going to need. These are just extras. I already have my enchanting table here, so that we can put that in right away but uh, we're missing some ingredients. And to get these, we're going to the nether because I want that pink crimson wood. So that is what we're gonna do next. So uh, I'm gonna grab a boat, boat my way over, and I'll meet you guys in the nether. Okay guys, we are back in the nether. Now, if I remember right, I think we need to go this way. That was easy. Let's get some crimson and not fall into holes. Huh, okay. Uh, easy enough. We're just getting the wood. Yeah. And so I spent the next bit of time collecting some of the crimson wood and I picked up some of the shroom lights as well for future decorations. Well, that was easier than I thought. Okay. We got a stack and 39. I'm gonna call that good. I'm just gonna pick up some of these little guys cause they're cute. And uh, we're not gonna push our luck. We're just gonna head back out. Oh, and it's night. I put my bed here just in case I happened to die while I was in there. All right, guys, we made it. That's so good. Okay, so we have the, the crimson stems that we need. We got a few warp blocks, not really that many. Uh, weeping vines, we got some good stuff. And uh, now it's time to go back and build.
Yes. We have finished our enchanting hobbit hole. So uh, let's go and take a look at it. I made this lovely little path that kind of connects to our main path and our starter base. And I made a little lamppost here and uh, we'll throw on some shaders for the rest of this. But walking up this path, I've just decorated the hobbit hole with some azalea leaves flowering and regular, some oak leaves. We've got the crimson wood outlining our door and for our chimney, kind of going off of the same thing that we did with our starter base. But on the inside, here's what we got guys. We've got a little smelting blast furnace section. Straight ahead, we have our enchanting setup, which I think looks so pretty. We did get it to level 30 with all of our bookshelves, so that's amazing. And in this back corner, I actually hid a little, uh, a little bedroom. We only got a lamp in here and a bed and a little bit of a carpet. I'm gonna be decorating more of this as we go, but that's a little bedroom. Uh, I kind of just wanted it to be hidden away since a bedroom is not the main focus. It closes this door, not for creepers. Uh, it's not the main focus of this area. So the rest of the place is our potion and nether portal. So we've got the brewing stand and our little cauldron with our vat of uh, something we brewed. Not really sure what, but uh, we brewed something. But then we've got another portal. What do you guys think of our little enchanting hobbit hole? I think this turned out great. I absolutely love it. I think one of my favorite parts is that we have the nether portal kind of just framed in to one of the sections and archways of the little hobbit hole space. I also really like that we have the spore blossom just emitting some particles right in front of our magical enchanting setup. Once I had my enchanting table all set up, I restocked on lapis, added mending to my pickaxe, added a sweeping edge to my sword, and then added looting to my sword as well. Next, I want to make a brand new pickaxe and see what enchantments we can roll on it on the table. So let's grab some of our lapis and uh, see what we get. Fortune 2 requires level 30, and I am at 3. Nice. Okay, guess uh, we'll just uh, grind some quartz, right? Oh, and I forgot my boots. Oh no. Nice. I forgot my boots. Time to get back through and hopefully not get hurt. Uh, this will be interesting. Go away. Go away. Okay. Not what I expected, but uh, also I didn't put boots on, so that is what I expected. Oh my gosh. Oh, you scared me so- oh, What? Sirs? Um. Uh, we need to put a gate, guys. Oh, bye. Yeah, you do the same. Can you go through? Oh, that was scary. Oh, we got a crossbow. Look at that. What do you know? Um, yep. Put the boots back on. Okay. <laughs> now we grind quartz. Goodness. And we get quartz. While we're grinding quartz, I figured I would take this time to say thank you to everyone who's newly subscribing to my channel. I so appreciate you guys joining in. I do have a Discord if anybody wants to join that. Link is in the description below, as well as links for my Twitter and my Instagram. For those of you that like watching SMP or more collaborative content, I am a part of a SMP for content creators called Block Breaking SMP. So going forward, you may see me alternating episodes every other week between an episode for block breaking or an episode for this single player series as well. As I was pulling across a chasm, this ghast came out of nowhere and was trying to meet me off the edge, and so I was trying to get returned to sender. It kept moving around, I couldn't get it, I was getting frustrated, and then it hit me and almost knocked me off into the lava. So uh, after this and uh, trying a bit more, I, I was done in the nether. We were, we were good. Alrighty guys, uh, after the ghast uh, was attacking me, I kind of uh, figured we'd take a break. Um, pretty close, not quite there, but I uh, wanted to take a little bit of a break. Uh, we found a ton of quartz, like, I'll take it. Well, not a ton, two stacks, but almost three. 
and then since I didn't get enough XP from the nether, we went back to the village and started trading with villagers for a bit to get us up to that level 30. Alright guys, we've made it to 30, we're gonna go back and see if we can uh, roll any uh, good enchantments. Now, for uh, some level 30 enchants, let's get our pick and our lapis. Oh, what did we get? Oh, no way, that's really good! Okay, it's like threes, right? It's efficiency three and I'm breaking three, but come on guys, like, that's, that's pretty good, right? Now, you guys might be wondering, well, Red, if you're already doing the villager to get all your armor and your tools, why'd you come back to use the enchanting table? Why not just level them up with books? I like the idea of being able to just use the villagers to give me the tools, but then come back and use the enchanting table to see if I can get any uh, combos like I did here. Obviously, I added mending, but uh, that's a pretty good pick. I think I still want to get a better fortune pick and maybe try for silk touch. Uh, but I don't want to re-roll this, so maybe we will go grab some extra tools and just try re-rolling them from our village. So I'm gonna go ooh, to, to bed. I'm, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, bed. Alrighty, and it is uh, daytime again, so let's go and grab some extra tools. We're kind of going back and forth today, but uh, you don't see that. You just see me uh, showing up at the places, so uh, it's pretty nice for you guys, right? You're very sneaky. Yes, yes, yes. Come here, Tex. <gasps> yay! Oh, yay! We have a Tux! <gasps> okay, guys, I'm literally so excited. There's this neighborhood cat that, in real life, will come around by where I live, and if I'm sitting outside, it will come up to me, and he will just take all of the scratches, all of the pets, but uh, there's no collar on him. So I kind of just honorarily uh, named that cat in real life Tux, and this Minecraft cat looks exactly like him. So guys, meet Tux. Now that we got some extra tools, which uh, I have two of the efficiency picks, two of the efficiency shovels, two efficiency axes, and I also got an extra sharpness sword in case we kind of want to combine or re-roll any of these. So back we go to our base. Now uh, let's see what we can get on the pickaxe for 30. <gasps> efficiency four? All right, will we get anything else? No, okay, but that sounds about right. Shovel, efficiency four. It's gonna be one item. <gasps> Bo what? That efficiency four on breaking three, fortune three? No way, oh my goodness, that's amazing. I'm shook. Now we are going to continue to upgrade our armor with the enchanting table, but we're gonna focus on that uh, next episode because I wanna work on that skeleton farm so I can get XP easier. But I do wanna get silk touch today because I have some really cool lantern ideas. So I'm gonna go back to the, uh, yes, back to the village and we're gonna upgrade a library until uh, he gets us so touch. So let's go over. And from here, you know exactly what I did. Place the lectern, break the lectern. Place the lectern, break the lectern. Okay, this guy is literally just watching them sleep. A little creepy, dude. Little little creepy. And after adding that villager to the neighborhood watch list, I continued doing exactly what I was doing before. Oh guys, we got Silk Touch for 16 finally, yay! Oh yes, you know what this means guys. Mushroom chopping time. Alrighty guys, we are back in our base area. We've got our Silk Touch pickaxe and uh, I, I wanna move this mushroom. So let's get this. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing. I love it. It's so exciting. Now let's go find a brown one. We got them both. The brown mushrooms and the red mushrooms. This is big, guys. I'm so excited to use these blocks. And we even uh, we even got the, the mushroom stem block, which is going to make it so much easier to build with and uh, just use throughout this series. Mushroom blocks aside, we have one last thing to do for today's episode, and it involves two friends hanging out over here. It involves our llamas. You guys gave me so many great name suggestions. I so appreciate everyone that left a name suggestion for one of the llamas or both of the llamas, but uh, we have officially 
chosen names to name the first citizens and uh, animals of our area. Llama number one shall be named Cloudy, and Llama number two shall be named Pizza. Next, we just get to name them and we are good to go. So we've got Pizza. Hello, Pizza, how's it going? And we have Cloudy our two little llama friends. But that is all the time that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We did a lot. We built our lovely little hobbit hole here for our enchanting setup. We were able to level up some of our gear. We were able to get silk touch so that we have access to all of our mushroom blocks. And we even were able to name our lovely little llamas Cloudy and Pizza. And I'm super excited to have some animals in our kingdom, the first citizens of our area. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you want to follow this Let's Play series some more or others, and I will see you next time.